Hello, hello, my name is Kalina Regal and welcome to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be tackling my closet right behind me. I desperately need to clean out my closet. It's been like five years since I've actually done a deep clean and gotten rid of clothes that I don't use. And let me say, there's a lot of clothes in there that I literally have not touched in probably three to four years. So I definitely don't need to be hoarding any of my clothes that I have if I'm not wearing it. Because like, what's the point if it's just going to sit in my closet when someone else can use it instead? perfectly fine so but yeah I am hoping to get rid of pretty much half my closet is what I'm praying for because there's definitely a lot of items that I don't use so let's just go ahead and get right into it because this is gonna take a while so starting right away when you go into my closet if you can tell it's very small I hate these closets that have the sliding thing I absolutely hate them because this section right here I pretty much don't touch because it's like always behind a door, but whatever. But it's pretty much a little overview of my closet. As you can tell, I have semi a system going on. I have white, gray, black, kind of brown neutrals. And then it goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple <laughs> over here, which as you can tell, my colored side, which is on this side, there's not as much compared to this side, which is like my blacks and whites and more neutrally colors because like I said in high school and stuff I pretty much never wore colors ever which I I was just very introverted okay and I wasn't I was scared to express myself so I wore a lot of black but I don't touch a lot of these colors anymore so I gotta get rid of a lot of this yeah this is pretty much just my closet that I got rid of as you can tell there's junk up here storage Michael, there's a lot going on in my closet, okay? And down here, there's shoes that I literally... I have not worn any of these shoes in over two years, probably. So, I gotta get rid of that. And So, I have another pile of clothes here. They're all clean. I just wash them. So, most of these clothes I will keep because since I wash them, clearly I wear it. But there's still quite a few in here that I just do not need whatsoever that are just keeping up space in my closet. So, but yeah, there's this side of my closet, which I don't touch as much because as you can see my computer pretty much blocks like half of my closet I have a desk right here my computer setup because I'm a girl gamer <laughs> but it pretty much blocks like half of my closet so I do not really use this side that's why I just throw out sweaters here but I would love to use this so eventually I'm planning on moving this whole desk setup rearranging my room but let me know if you guys want to see that video eventually but so the first thing I'm going to do to clean out my closet is I'm going to take all my clothes that are hanging and pretty much just throw everything on my bed. All my clothes on my bed and just start from there. Just get a big pile and we're just going to sort things into different piles. Whether it's keep, donate, maybes, whatever. But I think that's the best way because if it's all on my bed, I'm going to have to clean up to go to sleep. So <laughs> just going to force myself to get through this. Now that I got all my clothes out of my closet, I have this giant pile of clothes. So let's just start sorting through this. So to start through this, I'm just gonna have a pile on my floor or any clothes that I want to donate, I'm just gonna throw on the floor and any clothes that I keep, I'm gonna throw it back in my hamper so I know I want to keep it. But that's pretty much just what we're doing right now. We're just gonna sort the things and then we'll fold later. So this shirt is itchy on the collar. I remember this. So I'm not keeping this because I wore the shirt once and the one time I wore it, the collar was itching me the entire time. So this is a donate. Don't like a man door. Also, we have my squishmallows covered behind this giant pile of clothes to keep me company. So, so hopefully I don't lose my mind going through all this. But all my gym clothes uh, I'm keeping. I only have like five sets of each. So... I'm definitely keeping these.
plain tee. Can't go wrong with these. Keep. I use this shirt I've had for like eight years, I would say. It's a maroon v-neck, just basic t-shirt I bought somewhere. I don't wear this out. I use this as like a throwaway like sleepwear shirt, so I'm gonna keep this because of that. But I'm not like, who wears v-necks in 2022? Come on. My sriracha shirt. In high school, I was obsessed with sriracha. Okay, I wouldn't say obsessed, but I love sriracha. I pretty much put on everything, and my mom bought me this shirt as like a little gag gift. Be like, oh, you like sriracha, right? <laughs> but I still wear this, like I said, as the same as the other shirt, as like mostly sleepwear or just like a throwaway shirt. To like, I don't care if it gets dirty, but I want to keep it because I love me some sriracha. <laughs> This doesn't fit me. I've had this sitting in my closet for two years and this thing does not fit me. It is way too small for me and my chest. So, gonna get rid of that. Guys, this is my high school prom dress. It's this like cute maroon. It's been four years since I went to prom in high school. I'm 22 years old. I don't know why I still have this. I will never wear this ever again. I mean, it's pretty, sure. But like, do I get rid of this or if I keep it? Because it's my prom dress, you know? I don't know what I was thinking with this sequence. Do you see this? What was I thinking with that? What? <laughs> Guys, so I went thrifting for like the first time pretty much like four or five years ago and I found this sweater at a Goodwill. Look how cute, it's the, I don't know what this pattern's called, but I think it starts with an A. But it's the the little, the crocodile brand, the Le, Le, Lacoste. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's that brand and it's so cute and I love this. I literally got this thing for like four bucks and then I looked online about this brand and their clothes go for like 100 bucks, so that's a steal. It's big and baggy and it's comfy, but it's so cute. Definitely a keep. I've never been to Tokyo before. I've never been out of California before. I've been to like Vegas twice, and I don't really count Vegas as out of California because it just feels like a bigger or a different type of LA, so. I've never worn this shirt before. I think I bought this on Target, like, three years ago I was like it was like a men's shirt I was like oh it's gonna be oversized I got a men's small how was that oversized I'm 5'8 that is not oversized on me that's like my size so I don't know I was thinking but I'm gonna get rid of that why do I have so many v-necks I have had this shirt since middle school. It's one of those like muscle tank shirts. I've had this since middle school. Oh my God. There's still a big pile left. This also isn't including my sweaters, which I honestly don't own that many. I'm probably gonna keep most of those sweaters anyways, but I need a break. Another v-neck. Oh my god When was the last time you ever saw anyone walk around with a v-neck t-shirt? Holy cow Do you see this? What is this shirt? I don't think I've ever worn this but my boobs would lit this will not even cover my nipples. This is made for like a toddler. Why, why do I have this? I don't wear white ever usually. Cause I'm kind of a messy person. So why do I own so many white clothing? I don't know, but I never wear white. But this, these little white tanks, I love wearing these under sweaters or hoodies. So like, 
a lot of girls usually don't wear shirts under their hoodies or sweaters they usually just wear their bra but sometimes i feel like i want to add like just a little extra protection just in case so i usually wear this so i'm gonna keep these i love these for that why is it so small so back in high school obviously like i didn't make that much money because i'm a high schooler working just part-time at a job so i didn't really have enough money to afford like the higher end brands like american eagle or like hollister or whatever <laughs> So I literally bought a lot of stuff off of like the, fas fa the fast fashion brands like Shein, Fashion Nova, stuff like that. So I have a lot of Shein stuff that I don't wear anymore. Like this top is from Shein. This is like one of the more iconic tops I guess you can say. And like it's cute. You can tell by the stitching just how bad quality their tops are if you can see. Like the stitching is so just not good and it, the quality doesn't feel good i don't know i wore the sh heck out of this top in high school okay and like freshman year college i haven't touched this shirt in like two years and there's a reason why and i i hate that i shopped on sheen and stuff and i'm stopping doing that but like a lot of my clothes are from them i'm, I'm sad because i'm probably end up getting rid of pretty much all of those clothes so Please stop buying fast fashion guys like it's not good for the environment and you'd wear it like once or twice and then never wear it again because it literally would break on you so that's another reason why I'm cleaning out my closet because like I just want to get rid of those clothes in my closet they're just sitting there collecting space when I can buy higher quality items just for like 10 20 more dollars at like just somewhere in the mall another great example is this top from Fashion Nova I bought this from Fashion Nova probably like three years ago. I have never worn this shirt. Ever. I thought it looked so cute on the model, but then again, like, that's the point of the model. To make it look cute with all these unrealistic body standards. And I'm like, ooh, I can look like that with that top. Yeah, no. <laughs> the little splattered, like, bleach tie-dye spots and, like, the harsh bleach, like, red... I've never worn this. Get rid of. So growing up, I was a huge fan of comic books. My dad pretty much collected comic books ever since he was like 15 or 20 or whatever. And so he raised me and I got a comic because of him. And then all the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe came out. And I was obsessed with it, especially like freshman, sophomore year of high school. I was up obsessed with comic books and the whole thing i was like the biggest nerd of it so i owned so many comic shirts like this like almost every single one of my t-shirts back like in sophomore year of high school had some type of comic thing it was either like it had this or like the iron man symbol or like the avenger symbol or like and i thought i was just so cool like wow look at me i'm a girl into comics and stuff and every single thing i own is just like a basic t-shirt was just like their logo printed on it i'm like <laughs> i look back on it and i'm like why like i'm not saying there's anything wrong with liking comic books or the whole anything like that i'm just saying like why did i think that i was so cool wearing stuff like that literally i would wear this probably like every single week like every monday or whatever i would wear this shirt or like another shirt exactly like the superman shirt that i threw earlier I would wear that and think I was so cool. Times have changed, guys. Just times have changed. There's a story to this shirt, okay? <laughs> so I went thrifting with friends for the first time. It was my first time ever going thrifting with friends. I've only been thrifting like five times in my life, and this was probably like my second time actually going thrifting, and it was with friends. And it was like, around september we were all or early october i guess like three four years ago or something a lot of this is, a lot of these clothes are from three four years ago okay i really bought clothes recently in the last like two years and i really need to get back on it but i went thrifting with my friends three four years ago and we found these like kind of hawaiian shirts or whatever you can say there was four of us okay there was me i'm a tall mexican looking girl okay and my other friends are all asian right so we were trying the Hawaiian shirts and I saw this one. I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, like a little basic Hawaiian shirt. They tried theirs on and it's like 
cute Hawaiian whatever. We're like, oh, we can go as a group. It's like people from, traveling from Hawaii or like whatever, you know, like tourists. I tried this on and my friends, like I literally looked like wannabe thug Mexicans. I looked like that and my friends instantly pointed that out to me. The second I put this on and I put my neck, this necklace, exact necklace, kind of through the collar peeking out. Oh my God. And this was pretty much my Halloween costume that year. I went so overboard. I literally went on Amazon and bought fake arm sleeve tattoos. I got my brother's watch and like, I wore my brother's pants. He'd be like back. I literally dressed up as, you know, <laughs> I'll show a picture, but like, I pretty much dressed up as one of those as a Halloween. Oh my God, that was so iconic. You know, but like, look, another basic Shein top. It's a spaghetti strap by Shein, as you can see, Shein, right there. But like, the quality is so bad. The stitching on this, do you see this? Like, it's so, and it's so not stretchy and it feels so gross. Like, why did I think... I get it, it's cheap, that's the point of it, but it's just such bad quality and I'm so sad that I bought into it. <sighs> do I really need two of the same green crop tops? They're about different colors, but still, do I need two of these? Which one would I want to keep more? This one's Shein. Shocker there. So, we're getting rid of that one instantly. And I'll keep this one. <laughs> Guys, just don't shop from Shein. If you don't, if you... Make enough money. Like, I hate when these, I see these influencers or, like, YouTubers get, like, spend $500 or whatever on a Shein haul. And it's like, why? Why does it always have to be Shein or Fashion Nova or whatever? Like, come on, guys. I've noticed I have so many just basic t-shirts. But they're not, like, baggy t-shirts that I can wear with, like, leggings or, like, biker shorts. They're just, like, t-shirts that are, like, my size and, like, it doesn't fit me right that I want to walk out like that. So I I need to revamp my wardrobe so bad. Another v-neck. And guess what? It's from Shein, but you can't see because it's so old that it's come off the tag. Another v-neck from Shein. And this feels so ch- uh, uh. A Nike shirt. I have never worn this. I bought this senior year of high school. There's so many things I bought like four or five years ago. But I bought this senior year of high school and I thought it was so cute. But I got it like my size and I I prefer baggy t like the oversized t-shirt look right now currently. And this is not that. This is like very form fitting. It's not like this how it's like very tight. It's just I don't wear this. I would never wear this. It's a big Nike. Not my style. I'm sorry, getting rid of that. <sighs> it's too tight around the armpits and the arms, and it's very tight around here, but loose are... I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't need this. to my arms no <laughs> no this is this is a no a hundred percent no oh this is a dress I mean it's cute but I don't wear pink nor do I wear dresses so I mean it's cute it's not too long it goes right above my knee kind of smash <laughs> but I'm getting rid of this I know so this is the pile of clothes I'm getting rid of honestly I thought it was gonna be bigger but it's pretty decent for how much I had so we're gonna get rid of this and bag it up we're probably gonna start bagging this up so I can take it to probably Goodwill or anywhere near me in a couple days because I don't really have time today to take it and I don't even know if they're open it is like 5 p.m. on a Sunday, so when I'm filming this. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I'm gonna get rid of. And now I have to put all these back on the hangers and everything that is in this. 
in a hanger too because that's also stuff I organized. So I pretty much have to re-put all of that in hangers and put it all back in my closet and that's gonna take a while but I have a ginormous pile of hangers on my floor so we don't have enough hangers but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick off camera because it's getting caught in my room and this is gonna take quite a while too so <laughs> I'll be back guys. Yeah, that's pretty much the end of my little closet declutter. I have not seen my closet that empty since I was like 13 years old when I first moved in this house, so it's pretty crazy. But maybe in another video we can go ahead and like do some shopping and refill my closet because I have a lot of space and a lot of new clothes that I want to buy because <laughs> I really haven't bought much clothing in the last two years, three years probably. So I am in desperate need for new clothes. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!